Hi guys, um, I came across something recently and I was like, okay, let me look up, look at it and um, get back to us. Now this um, BVM verification and it's something that is very, very important because there's a lot of fake data going all around and uh, it's actually very important that you verify your BVM to avoid, avoid being defrauded in your businesses. So this actually is very very nice. I saw this with a face validation where you upload an image, then they use um their AI tool to validate if that image actually what is registered on the person's BVM if there's a match. So this is actually very nice here. But then I saw this eye grid. I haven't seen it before, so I checked it out and um I grid BVM and I saw this. So, so iGrid is a centralized platform that allows for authentication and, um, okay, for authentication and consent management for our web and mobile application. It unifies identity across services, service providers, and use cases. Essentially, the user interface integrated into a merchant's end user boarding process that enables them to collect consent directly from the BVM holder. So from all this um, debris that has been said here, just says, okay, um, I want to get consent from Nibs directly for this and Nibs gives you because uh, iGrid already has that access. So once you authenticate with iGrid and get the person's BVN, iGrid returns a response to you and um, you are good to go. But then after testing it out, it's so sad that their server is actually down as at the point of this video and the response is giving me um not available at the moment so however it's actually a good one to check it out and see how it works there are several verification processes in nigeria as a whole there are several of them many so you could use them for your apps you can use them at certain stages in your apps and um, let's dive straight to how it works I wasn't able to get um, a good verification success message success on it but then it's something to try it out so um, this is the BVM provided as a test case here and um, this is the channel here I just copy this this is actually a um, phone number and this is the OTP so I submit it and then yeah, BVN service is not available at the moment. It's so sad that I couldn't um, get to register for this and um, make use of it. I just believe that it has, how will I call it, it, it is license based or something. It's only for businesses. So it's not just, I can't use it for, um, for tests case. But I will check it out and probably do a video on it a lot of verification processes on this platform a whole lot so however let's go back to our identity pass so identity pass also have them there so let's go to it and see so this is it and they have a success message this is a type to be choose where you want the OTP delivered so this is the first one if you get now this contact is your phone number the phone number here um yes it's the channel here yeah that's the channel so there are different stages there's the initiates so if you said the move to initiate when you want to initiate the first one then they send otp then the set channel you can set the channel provide the otp to this particular place then you can run the finalize which now gives you the full data so this is just is in stages so you probably have to run like three times and passing this as a as a parameter into it and each time you need to run it and you're good to go you're good to go so um you can choose your verification method and this so let me just show you something on the code okay um so i just have my bvn channel and otp mind you these are not complete information and this is the only test provided for us the only provided this test for us so 
and if you are to build it with life you are going to have your app id from your settings page you are going to have your number that's your bvn the mode the channel the otp and verification method so this is it and um i hope you learned something new from this video and you are able to try it out and play along with it so thank you very much i look forward to um you sharing subscribing and learning more from um using uh, api course implementation um, methods and um, suggestions please reach out if you have any issues and um thank you for